right, there we go. What's up, Cole, Jason, Rocky? What's up, Reaper, typical person, Guru? What's up, Daniel? Roderick Moose, Justin, Jammy, Fernando, Hooligan. What's up, Herbie, Dio? We got Justin, we got Feb. What's up, DUI? DU, that's an interesting one. <laughs> What's up, Ziki? Abdul, Veb, Vred? Vred. Wow, that's an interesting Okay. <laughs> we got Light. What's up? What's up, everybody? So, an hour late today. Had some internet issues because of the thunderstorms here in Florida. Uh, power went out. Then I had to wait for the modem to start back up. Then a, a bunch of whole things. And the servers weren't agreeing with me. So, I had to restart my console like three times. <laughs> it, it happens. It happens. But oh, we're good now. We're back. So, thankfully. Um, if the stream suddenly goes out, that's because my power went out again. So hopefully it holds together for the stream, but we'll see. So yes, today, finally it happened. We've had the convertible slash no roof meet on the voting poll for about a year now almost. <laughs> it's been a very long time. And now finally it was voted, it won this time. So I've been wanting to have this theme for a while. There's actually a lot of variety. You have some trucks that are no roof some luxury cars, some sports cars, some classic cars. It's a nice balance of a bunch of different cars. So, it's a nice little mix. So you'll see here once we review all the cars, we go back and forth. There's a lot of cool cars here, and it's kind of nice to see all of the cars here. No roofs convertible here at the beach. It's pretty cool. Doing good, Khaled. What's up? What's up, Swish? Let's take a quick little walk around. Rolls Royce is nice, yes it is. Thank you, Daniel. Are you on PS4? It's on PS4, yep, it says it in the title. What's up, Matt? Thank you, Volts, appreciate it. The Mamba, though. <laughs> we got two Mambas here. We got mine, and then we got like, a racing style one here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start reviewing the cars. So for those of you currently in the car meet, please get somewhat near your car so I know whose car is who. Alright, here we go. Did you get put any bumpers on your D10? I put it back to stock, I believe. How do you join? All the info is in the description. I don't think Nightbot's working currently. Might be broken. Let me fix that really quick. If not, I'll have 100 how to join <laughs> messages, even though it's always in the description, but... People will know it's in the description unless somebody's telling them, so... Let me set up. Nightbot always... Nightbot works when it wants to. Uh... There we go. Alright. Should work now. Just give it a few minutes. Nightbot was working? Oh yeah, it was working. Oh yeah. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and get started. First person we got here is Trueno. He's got a baby blue tornado. Is this a custom or is a regular? But he's got. So is this a regular with Benny's wheels glitched on it? That's interesting. The white top, love of that. Very nice. Day one OG car. Can't go wrong with that. A million different ways you can build a tornado. Really cool car. Next vehicle. Whose swinger is this? This person lagged out. If this is your green swinger, please let me know in the chat you lagged out. Next up, we got Snow Plow. Or Snow, Snow Plow. Or <laughs> interesting name. He's got the Buccaneer Custom Lowrider with crazy broad interior with the wheels and the <laughs> full on lowrider. Kind of like a gold and brown color combo on there. Alright. Nice. No roof as well, of course. My Swinger. Cow from Mars. Cow from Mars. This was your Swinger? Okay. A green Swinger. Not too much of a fan of the white walls, but I like the actual wheel itself on this car. It looks really good. Can't go wrong with a green Swinger. Got the little latches too there on the front. 
compartment. Very nice. How are you such high level? I've been playing the same in this game since day one that it came out. I have the same character I transferred from old gen, so this character is what now? Almost seven years old? <laughs> that kind of kind of explains it there. Alright, so these Black Mamba... Did this person lag out too? Who's Black Mamba is this? Where did he go? Is this the guy here? Okay, we got Breadstick. This is his Mamba, so he's got the Black Mamba. Front splitter, got the spindles, got the extra. Oh, oh, he has the glitched one. He has the the race thing mixed with the stock. Okay, you can tell because he has like the double wind the double windshield. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I forgot I forgot that you can do that glitch. Blank yanks and plate spindles, nice. Next up, we got Crazy Croco. He's got an orange D10, stock wheels in black, carbon front grille. Very nice. These cars look really cool with the top off as well. Love that. Carbon spoiler. Super cool. Can you imagine that if you take off the, you put the no roof option and then it would store in the trunk? Like when you pop the trunk, then you'll see the roof in there. I think that would be so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice plate on there too. Quad sacked exhaust. Awesome. Interesting color on there too. It's like a reddish orange. What color is this? Looks like a crew color with like a yellow pearlescent on it. From what I can tell, or a cream pearlescent. Next up, we got typical person. He's got a red regular coquette. Carbon cheetah wheels. No front splitter upgrade. No side skirts. Stock rear spoiler. Quad exhaust. So pretty much a stock coquette with carbon cheetah wheels. Okay. Alright. Not bad. Next up we got Alan. He's got a blue coquette classic. The topless of course. Very nice. Corvette plate. Nice. Dual exhaust. like the wheel choice on there. Who has this door open? There we go. I like that blue on there. That's a really nice color. Next up, Prime Pilot in the black fin. Got the black secondary, looks like a white. Stock wheels. Timeless plate, nice. So here you can see the trio. We got the Corvettes in order of generation. We got the first generation, second generation, seventh, and then eighth. So it'd be nice if Rockstar can give us, you know, the fifth generation uh, vet. You know, that's a nice one. Even the fourth, nice one as well. Or a third, you know. <laughs> Just give them all. Might as well. I mean, we have four already in the game. <laughs> they can call it whatever they want. And they can get really creative with the names. But, yeah. This is my Mamba right here. Metallic blue. It's a dark blue with an ultra blue pearlescent with stock wheels. Got my Cobra plate on there. So, a little trick for those of you who don't know. Uh, the iFruit app actually bans the word Cobra for some reason. It senses it as profanity or whatever. So I just put a zero instead of an O, and there, that, that's how you can use Cobra, so, yeah. Moving along, we got Danny and the very dark red Zoroso. This looks like a wine red with a Torino red pearlescent. Got the alloy colored ground rides, got the red headlights on there, the Italian stripe going down, really nice. Got the ducktail spoiler, quad exhaust. I remember when Azaroso first came out, a lot of people were saying that, oh, this is the Minijin Corvette, this is the C8, not, not, <laughs> I was like, no, it's not the C8, and then they gave us the actual C8, <laughs> you can see a big difference there between the two, but yeah, awesome car, love that, we got No Way It's Alex with the 9F Cabrio, like a bluish, I don't even know what kind of color this is, it's a really cool color, almost like a pastel blue, or it's like a silverish blue, Absolutely love that color on there. Very nice. Got the white S racers. Quad exhaust. Carbon side skirts. Lower carbon front splitter. Looks like he slammed it as well. Very nice 9F. Next up, we got Dar Darth Reflex. Metallic gray 811. Dash VIP chrome wheels. Matching wrist spoiler. 
Minty plate. That's a nice one, minty. I thought like, that's a good plate. I like that. Quad exhaust out the back. Nice. Love that R8. Yeah, you know, R8's really nice. Love that spec on there. How much is your KD? I don't focus on shooting and stuff in sessions. I mainly focus on racing. <laughs> Alright, next person we got Jeremasso. We got a green Kalahari. We got the stock wheels in white, I believe. Very, very funny. Oh my gosh, one of the most interesting vehicles in the game. So there's, there's really like weird, quirky, interesting vehicles like the Chebrek, the Kalahari, you know, the different vehicles like that are pretty funny. Awesome. Love that. Can't go wrong with that. Next up, Alvaro Gam. Got the Cokehead Classic. Second, you got the secondary black, it looks like, and then even with the racing livery. Or I can't remember if the racing livery is part of that. I, I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked at liveries for this car, but very cool. I love the build on there. And then he went with the newer street wheels, and then he did the newer custom tie lettering in yellow to kind of tie it all together. And he's got the racing outfit to match the era. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome build. Love that. Very creative with the outfit, too. Um, here we got Bob's car. He's a civilian. We got the Red Felon GT. Then here we got Bob Jr.'s car. Or Bob Sr. He's at the Tornado. Also civilian. It's an older car. So, double Bob's there. Very cool. Moving across, we, <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got Noppers. He's got the Metallic Blue Yosemite Rancher. Like the wheel choice on there, tad interior, very clean build on there. Absolutely love that. Got the hood pins as well. <laughs> what do you got on there? A big block Chevy? You got, you got something in there with a lot of power. Oh my gosh, very cool build. Dual exhaust at the back, very nice. What's my gamer tag? All the infos in the description, guys. Next up, Dav G unit. You got the metallic silver Zerosa, or is this metals? Looks like it's metals. Very nice color on here. Stock wheels. Italian stripe. Love the vented hood. Even though the vents are fake, but you kind of get like that design with the shape and the lines. Looks really cool. Carbon ducktail. Very nice. Like the spec on there. Uh, here we got uh, Bob's son and the uh, regular ruiner. Yep. Very cool. So, <laughs> another civilian. Cool ruiner on there. Definitely crashed these a million times in driving around in free mode. <laughs> Next up, Justo. He's got a white black fin. This looks very similar to Prime's over there. So, Prime did primary black, secondary white. This guy did primary white, secondary black. So, literally the opposite. Very similar with the stock wheels, too. But he went with the kind of circular vented hood there. No ducktail option, I'm surprised. Most people do a ducktail. Dual exhaust. Nice. Love the black fin. This car has a really good exhaust mode as well. When you let off the gas, you get some of those cracks and pops. Awesome. Next up, uh, YT Nero. We got the blacked out Kilkent D10. Absolutely love this. You got the newer street wheels on there. Got the aggressive front splitter. Carbon sunstrip. Roof off, of course. Carbon rear spoiler. Stacked rectangular exhaust. Oh, the carbon ca rear canards, which look a little <laughs> interesting on there. And the crazy side skirts. So I think he went for more like a track build on this. Based on the front splitter, the side skirts, and the... Yeah. Alrighty. Moving along, we got Edible Pine. Metallic Red. Mamba. Very cool. I wish you would have done the hood scoop. Looks very cool. Stock wheels. Very nice. Love that. Got my blue one right over there. Mamba's a great car. A really cool exhaust note. It's actually still on sale right now for like the fourth week in a row, but... <laughs> a very extremely fun to car. Out of all the sports classics cars, definitely one of my favorites to drive because of how slidey it is, the exhaust note. And then the double clutch or mid-drive speed boost, whatever you want to call it. It's really powerful on this car. A lot of fun to kind of slide around and drive around in the city. 
Plus, they added the liveries later on for it in one of the updates. Really cool. We got uh, URS. He's got the red Mamba with the white stripe livery. Stock wheels. Very nice. Red and white stripe Cobra, pretty much. Can't go wrong with that. So this guy did the secondary chrome for the event, and then he went with the primary. All right. Next up, we got Lewis, New York, and a Serrano with one of the new street wheels on there, and this is definitely up there in my top 10 for the best used street wheels on OG cars in the game. Very well done. These wheels look incredible on this car. It looks almost like a concept car. It looks very, very good. My only gripe with your build is the spoiler, <laughs> like giant spoiler, but other than that, it looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely love that. Really nice Serrano. Next up, we got Drift Too Hard, an orange Yosemite Rancher. Got the off-roads on there. Extremely, extremely clean build. No crazy options on here. Does plate say clean? You see, look. <laughs> clean K5. <laughs> One clean K5. Oh my gosh. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. Next up, we got Dornier, yellow and black striped Coquette D10. Black nearest street wheels on there. You've got the Bumblebee Corvette, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Very cool. Or you can say it could be the race car as well, but the race car has the is it yellow with the... It's like different, or silver stripes. Yellow with silver stripes instead of black. There we go. But yeah, pretty close. Color matched rear spoiler as well. That's a stock spoiler. Nice choice on wheels on there too. Black interior. Very nice. Next up, Beasties. Got the blue and white Mamba with the racing livery. Got the tuner wheels on there. See, that's really fitting because they're kind of like a smaller wheel, which kind of makes sense for the track. Very cool. Love that blue on a Cobra plate. Hey, nice. I got the Cobra plate too. Love it. Awesome. Next up, we got a uh, Dot. He's got the metallic orange 900R. I think those are new street wheels on there. They look <laughs> crazy how wide those wheels are. Awesome. Really clean 900R. Nothing too crazy. Got the single exhaust coming out the back. Look at that. Very nice. Next up. Who's who's night who's the regular banshee is this? Okay, so we got Light TH with the white banshee. Got the spindles on there. Got the dual exhaust coming out of the sides. Larger rear spoiler. Personally, I like the regular banshee with no rear spoiler, because you have that factory ducktail. Kind of like it's like a built-in rear spoiler from the factory, but other than that, really nice build on there. Can't go wrong with a white 900 r this black Serrano, I think this person lagged out. Let me see. Oh. Okay, so this is Voodoo's uh, matte black Serrano. Got the spindles on there. Or oh, this could be worn black, I'm not sure. But got the larger rear spoiler, quad exhaust, blank plate. Yeah, this is probably a modded color. <laughs> Usually when you see those blank plates, that's how you know it's a mod modded color. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool though. Like that blacked out Serrano. Nice. Next up, we got Feb. He's got the metallic silver uh, Cognoscenti Cabrio, right? I always forget the name of this thing. Yeah, that's the one. A very old car. They added this car like what, five years ago? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time. Oh man. Definitely an interesting looking car though. Not too much of a fan of the lines, like, I don't know, it's just weird. I, I prefer the sedans, personally, but it's still a good-looking car. Next up, that man. He's got the black, uh, Coquette Blackfin. Side exhaust, that's an interesting option there, nice. And he has the roll bar at the back. Chrome bumpers. Knock-off wheels. Nice. Got yeah, Roderick Moose and the Stallion. I, I completely forgot about this car. I didn't even put it on the list. <laughs> the list of vehicles a lot. I completely forgot about it. I added it on YouTube, but 
Yeah, I completely forgot. We got a five euro super chat from uh, Only Nine Gaming. Can you please give me a shout out? I do car meets on PS4 every day. Or well, thank you for the super chat, man. So there's your, your self promo for super chat, but whatever. You do car meets on every day on PS4. Nice. This, what's the, is this a metallic brown stallion? I can't tell what kind of color. It's like a reddish color. And the wheels look like very factory. They look like something you'd see from like out, out of the factory from back then. The only thing I like too much about the stallion is that there's no exhaust options. You're stuck with this like giant muffler back here. It's like really, really annoying. I literally sold mine just because of that. <laughs> that you could that you were forced to have this giant muffler at the back and you couldn't change the exhaust at all. Really unfortunate. And lastly, we have Electric 80s with the Windsor Drop. Really cool color on here. Secondary black, quad exhaust, GT Table Street. What is that supposed to say? I don't even, <laughs> I don't know. But got the, <laughs> oh my gosh. Who doesn't love a nice Rolls Royce, right? Especially the Windsor Drop. Awesome vehicle. See, this is the boat. People call the Hellfire a boat. No, this, this is the OG boat right here. <laughs> Alright, so as always, I like to pick my favorite, so let's do one more quick walk around, and then I'll pick my top three favorite ones from the meet. Oh, got a blast? Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> Tugboat meet? Oh my god. JC, man. <laughs> Bob's the winner. No, I'm kidding. I'm keep on going over here. No carbon is there. Yeah, surprisingly, no carbon is there showed up. Under your car, Prime. Bruh. Prime's car combusts into flames. But, anyways, my favorite was the Serato because of the choice in street wheels. Very nice. I love the wheel choice on here. Very fitting. Absolutely love that. Probably the most creative I've seen with the new street wheels. Looks absolutely amazing. Very well done there. Second favorite. Where is it? The guy leave? Where's the where's the blacked out D10? Where did he go? Oh oh there he is. There we go. Blacked out D10. Not so much for a fan of the rear bumper, uh, but other than that, absolutely love the build. Blacked out D10. Very cool. Love that. And third favorite. It was really 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 close, but. I like this one a little more, so I'm going with this Yosemite Rancher, Knoppers, the blue with the, I like the wheel choice especially. I absolutely love that. But the other Rancher was really nice too. The really cool builds there, I absolutely love that. Who would, have, who would have ever thought you'd see a lifted truck as a convertible slash in a roof car? But there you go. <laughs> it actually works pretty well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so let's take a quick little drive with my uh, car that has flames that's currently in the insurance a lot. Uh, let me let me call it back in. So so this one has the um, MMI, blacked the out expect, secondary option. Ne really nice texture quality on there. Looks absolutely amazing. Let me call it in. Hopefully it spawns eventually. Oh, my car spawned. Where did it spawn? Oh, it spawned right there. Look at that. Alright, backing up. Backing up. Alright. Go this way. I forgot how much wheel spin this car is. This is why I like this car. Here we go. Half throttle. I'm not... Bro, what color is your Grotty Furia? It's just metallic white, I think. It's the same one I did in the video. I haven't changed the color. 
Convertible cars unite. Oh my god. Imagine you see this coming towards you. Oh my god. <laughs> Like a bunch of people going on vacation in Miami or California. Let me get the topless rental car, please. I need a convertible. We just need we just need one of those V6 convertible Mustangs that everybody rents when they go places. <laughs> oh my god. That's that's traffic for you. I'm still stuck. Oh, there we go. I was trying to get to the literally the end of this road and then to the right, but look at that—we got a light out. See, that's classic electronics and classic cars for you. <laughs> All right, right here, mid-drive, and here we are. <laughs> From that parking space to this parking space. Bruh. <laughs> Insert T-bone here. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and start up the racing playlist. So I've got some, like, scenic kind of races that I, cho that I chose for this one. So it should be interesting and different to see. Let's go ahead and start those up. The playlist. The playlist. Oh, we also have long haul restricted today to uh, convertible slash no roof sports cars only. So that should be pretty fun as well. All right, here we go. Current session. Invite sent out. Thoughts on Tesla. Um, I think they're I think they're headed in the right direction. They do have some electronic issues here and there, which I mean, a brand new manufacturer coming into the scene and making mass-produced cars. I mean, I don't think their flaws are too bad, like compared to like what they could be, especially for such a new car company. It takes, you know, decades for manufacturers to f figure out certain wiring harnesses and get bugs out of their cars and stuff. I think Tesla's doing a pretty decent job for being such a new car company. Someone really needs to make a, a PSM that says fix it again, Tony, for Fiat. <laughs> So how's your day, Mike, except for the internet, you know, the thunderstorms earlier? It's, it's good. I'm doing good. It's been raining here the entire day, so it's been kind of boring here at the house, you know, watching movies and shows and stuff. But Okay. We'll do sports on this one, three laps. The rules apply this week or not yet. Well, sort of, you know, like not officially yet, but yeah, I'm in. I'm gonna put new rules in place for next week and for the future of racing as well, um, to kind of restrict cars with a list uh, for people that can't pick overpowered cars, because like you know it gets kind of annoying and boring when people are picking just Emirates, Krieger, Pariah, GTO every single race, so. I'm gonna try to restrict like, the top, the top cars that are just way too fast, so we can have more competitive races. And if somebody actually picks that car, we'll kick you from the crew, so you get kicked out of the race. Um, we'll invite you back to the crew, but you have the convenience of getting kicked out of the race. So yeah. So I'm gonna pick topless car. I go with D10, I guess. It's probably my best choice here. I want to try to keep up the theme as best I can. So, probably D10. Yep. Car handles like poo, but we'll try our best. What is the worst GTA car ever? Hmm. Good question. 
I think that was a major, major disappointment. Let's think. Maybe. Hmm. I'd, I'd have to think about that one. Like, out of all of them. Whoa, that's a neon. Yeah, I've been a neon. Holy crap. I'm gonna acceleration of a deep tad. Oh, it's so sad. You come out of a corner and floor and nothing happens. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, man. Oh, Comet SR, nice. That's a sign. Got a pariah up here. Bruh. Crappy acceleration from the D10. But it's fine, we got wind on our hair. We're close by the beach. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> That's an E Morgan. Come on. Go, D10, go! Oh, acceleration. Sad face. So bad. <laughs> Oh, another, another hairpin. Oh my god. No. Acceleration down the tube. Get as much curb boost as I can. Oh, this race is pure hairpins. Electric car would actually be pretty good for this. Top five for like three seconds. Oh, look at Neo. Nice. Car has pretty good top speed, especially over bumps, but the handling is not that great. Oh, but what kills the D10 the most, in my opinion, is the acceleration. It just dies coming out of the corners. Nice save, Voodoo. <laughs> just dies out of the corner. It's so weird. And Rockstar is most highly not going to fix it, which is kind of sad. I'm just going to leave it like that. This car is literally the opposite of what it's like in real life. <laughs> in, in GTA, it has good top speed, awful acceleration, and the handling is like very oversteery. And then in real life, it has pretty bad top speed, with good acceleration, <laughs> and decent handling. It's like the complete opposite. But, I mostly keep it for looks anyway, so... That wonderful acceleration. I can't, I can't even think acceleration. I sound like a broken record, but it's just sad when you come out of a corner, you floor it, and like, nothing happens. <laughs> oh god. It's like, yeah. <laughs> like you're starting like in fifth gear or something. Oh, there goes a GTO. Dealing with GTO. And a Neo. Forcing the D10. And that GTO is lagging all over the place. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I got it. Oh, lost traction coming out, but I'm fine. GTO is lagging so bad, it's literally like going 20 feet in the air after every corner. What is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Nice drive. I'm trying. Detail's not that great. But I want to try to stick with the theme for the meat as best I can. Come on, I want to 
my top five. Well, that was a pretty nice downshift there. I got it to downshift on his own. A couple of taps of the throttle and pretty decent. One more corner left. Going wide on this one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Top five. Come on. Top five. Top five. Yes. Top five is always possible. Quote Bruffy. <laughs> Very happy with the top five. Look at that. Pariah. GTO, 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 and boom. D10 right there. <laughs> Neo right behind me. Voodoo. Nice. The Morgan without the glitch turbo upgrade because Rockstar patched it. Jester race car from Command Z. Nice. What's your favorite car? Uh, Turismo R and GTA. Thank you, Barbod. Appreciate it. Honda or Toyota? Hmm. I'd probably... I'd probably lean a little bit more towards Toyota. What car has the best acceleration in GTA? Without any glitches or anything, the Cyclone. The car me was done at the beginning of the stream. Now we're doing the second part of the stream, which is the uh, the racing playlist. Here we go. A fun one. We'll do this one in sports classics. That should be interesting. Three laps of this one as well. Well, oh, that's my cat. <laughs> okay, let's see. Off from current session. We're gonna do muscle on this one. Do sports classics. I did. Yes, kitty. <laughs> Had the Vans class needs some love. Oh god. It's the Hellcat Kitty. <laughs> oh gosh. Your Hellcat is on. <laughs> My favorite car in real life. My favorite car of any car. 66 GT40 Mark II. My dream car, somewhat realistic dream car, is a 2005 Ford GT. I extended the timer already. We're just waiting on some people. Thoughts on the BMW i8? Not fast enough for being a supercar. <laughs> not not that great a performance. I find like they could have done a lot better with the performance of that car. They gave it this crazy exotic look, but it doesn't really match the performance of it. You would get the same questions every stream. I mean, they're kind of common questions, you know. The decaf coffee crew, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, but decaf stands for uh, Digital Cardiac Family, but then it was also kind of funny because it also is catchy because of decaf. It's all show and no go, pretty much, for the I8. What's your gamer tag? I'm trying to join. All the info is in the description if you want to join the next one, guys. What cars do you own? A 2015 Hellcat and a 2017 Camaro ZL1. Am I right? So I'm going to keep with that topless theme. I'm going to regret this so much. Like, really, really regret this. But I'm going to pick a Mamba. This should... <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> it's just good. Oh my gosh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I'm going to regret this so much. But I'll keep it with a theme. I have the best cars in the class, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. I want to stick with the theme. See what kind of place I can get. 
here we go. Oh, look at this guy's character is Michael Jackson. Thoughts on the Dodge Demon? I mean, purpose-built drag car, amazing, and the, they hold their values well. They're worth more than what they cost you right now. Half of them are listed online for sale for over a hundred thousand dollars. So, <laughs> pretty amazing. Okay, Mamba time. First quarter, ton of ton of oversteer. Oh my God, understeer and oversteer. I did not expect that. I knew it was bad, <laughs> but not that bad. Holy crap! Okay. I had to remember I'm driving this and not a sports car. You know, the Sterling GT would actually be pretty good for this track. Oh, look at there's one there right in front of me. Mid drive. Mid drive didn't do that much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a... Wow, that's a pretty insane... Oh, now we're going under... Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. Brakes. 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 We're all drifting! Everybody was drifting on that corner! <laughs> that was awesome. Holy crap. Come on, come on. Tight corner here. Holy crap. This car, you guys have no idea the amount of throttle control inputs I'm putting, light steering inputs to keep the stick on the road. <laughs> this is a handful. Oh my god. $2 super chat from, hold on, I'm in the middle of a corner. From Moth, a three, actually a three Australian dollar super chat, sorry. You smashed into Michael's therapist house. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Keep on the road. I'm trying my best. If I can get... I don't even know what kind of goal to shoot for. We're in 17th place right now. Uphill now. Oh, it's another one off. Kind of. But he's still, he's still in it though. Come on, come on, Mamba, go! Here we go. Brakes. It's a lot better this time. Oh my god, there's the understeer. <laughs> this car! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oversteer and understeer, it's a <laughs> and this thing is a handful. Holy crap. Come on, come on, baby. Don't do that to me. No! We're back at 17th again. 17th for life. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Oh. Reading that mid corner. Oh, gosh. 18th place, bruh. This poor car. This is out of all. <laughs> out of all the cars, this is definitely one of the. I always start right before long haul. Our character getting tossed in that mambo. <laughs> this car is is, is a, it's so difficult to drive on this track. This is a very quarter intensive track. Good cars for this track. Uh, maybe a Cheetah Classic would be really good for this. Turismo Classic, obviously. Sterling GT would be a ton of fun on this track. Front wheel drive sports classic is beating you. <laughs> hey man, the Pagali actually handles pretty good. What's 
sniper for me. What is that? Rapid GT Classic? Nice. There's the understeer again. I trust this thing way too much. Try to push it in the quarter. Turn! Turn! Look at that, all that wheel spin from one wheel! Oh my gosh. Remind me never to pick the Mambo and get him on a quarter intensive track. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> this poor car. Oh jeez. It's like I wasn't designed for this. Give me, give me straight line stuff. Oh man, that was <laughs> awful. Many awful decisions were made in the <laughs> picking this car. And I said it before the race started. I'm gonna regret this. You see, <laughs> I knew, I knew it was gonna be tough. I guarantee I was the only person in a Mamba. Wait, there was somebody else in a Mamba, but they were two positions behind me. You finished 18th. I know. Oh jeez. Drive like the Hellfire. Drives worse than the Hellfire. A lot worse. The Hellfire is more oversteer. Like, it doesn't really have that much oversteer. It's a lot more oversteer than anything else. The Mamba is just... Oh my gosh. It's like... It's bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Did your best. <laughs> I try. All right. Three a six. All right. So we did. We we did sports for the first one. Sports classics for the second. Let's do super for the third. Do super on this one. Um. Looks looks good there. All right, we got one spot open for crew members. Do you play Fortnite? I do not play only car games. Did you ever play with Bruffy? I raced with him once, like, but it, it it was like unofficial. Like I think I just fought him in a session or something. That was a long time ago, though. All right, so we got nobody else joining, so we'll just go ahead and start it. Do supercars three laps. Thoughts on the new Bronco? Pretty good. Um, it's literally a Jeep Wrangler, but a Ford. <laughs> it's literally, literally what it is. Bruffy got wiped. I saw that. He, man, he 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 didn't try to hide it. Like mad, a hundred and ten percent respect to him because he literally said, "I did the glitch." Like literally, he said it. He, he says, I, "I did it. I thought it was easy, and I got banned. Whatever." He admitted it, and. 110% respect to him because 90% people will not do that. They will not admit to it, especially on video. Launching session. Rockstar servers are fun. Excited for the new showcase of PS5 coming this Wednesday. Yeah, it should be interesting to see what they what are the prices. The Broncos twice the motor. <laughs> Doesn't it have a four cylinder or something? Best looking car in my opinion. What a GTA? As far as looks only, I said the FMJ. So the reason the session is taking forever to launch is because somebody's lagging out happens sometimes I wouldn't doubt if it's that guy that was lagging all over the place on the GTO that one race what was the first car you bought the first car I bought was the Hellcat 
Uh, before that, I had a Camaro V6, like 50,000 miles on it. Um, that one my parents bought for me when I was almost getting finished with high school. And, yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay with the topless theme. I'm going to go Zoroso. If I can find it eventually. There we go. Z all the way. What's up, Alexander? GP1 gang. GP1 on this track, that'd be interesting. Any guesses what the PS5 will cost? Xbox is 500. I'm gonna say uh, digital edition PS4 400, and then the the one with the disc on the side 450. That's my guess. An Emirates, crazy out ahead. Zoroso got the wind in my hair in first place. For like three seconds before the Emirates, the Kriegers passed me. An Altark up here, nice. Altark is a great car, very, very forgiving car. Holy crap! Did not expect that. Really interesting. Now we're going through here. Look at that. Oh, okay. Now we're going through this road. This is cool. <laughs> this is very creative. Wow. This race is intense. Right before the 90 degree turn. Oh, God. Oh, now a hairpin. Okay. Come on, Zoroso, go, Zoroso. What is this? Oh, look at that. Wow. Whoever made this track is very, very, very creative. That's going out. Wow, out through there. The guy in first, it seems like he's done this race before, Duramasa. He's mainly done this race before or something once. and an Emerus behind me. I'm trying to stand my ground, but that Emerus's top speed is nuts. Come on. There you go. The Rosso. Oh, God. Holding third place, roughly. Well, another Emerus. Lost traction there, a little traction. A third place back. I forgot about this bank turn. No! Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. No! That stupid bank turn! Stupid. This race is very, very intense. Seven sad seventh place. <laughs> no top five. Oh. oh, we got somebody messed up up here. Six, eh? Maybe we can get a top five. This car does get tail happy sometimes. Come on, 
bro. So, last lap. Let's make it count. So, I think I'm trying to keep up with Emirates. <laughs> That's what's in front of me right now. I'm threading a needle with this thing. Try not to mess this up. There we go. It's just that the Emirates and Krieger have the downforce for that one turn because it kind of goes up and also turns at the same time. So, those cars stay planted on that turn. They can take it at a higher speed, but then this car doesn't have that crazy downforce, so it kind of goes up and lose traction. Interesting. It's definitely in my best lap, though. traction there. Oh my god. I was gonna get the top five from me. No! 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 Get away! Get away! Get away, get away, get away, get away. No! 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 <laughs> I got him! I got my top five! <laughs> Oh gosh, I was like, I'm so excited for top five when I give it's first place, but it's fine, it's in his Zoroso, okay? Look at that, look at that, Emerus, Altar, Krieger, Emerus, and then boom, Zoroso smack in the middle of all his Emerus and Kriegers. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, that was intense. That race is amazing. Very, very good design. Alan, chill. Thoughts on the Aston Martin? Yeah, so which one? Oh, that one, that front engine one, the manual V12 or whatever. I'm not too much of a fan of the headlights. I think it's like the only thing I'm not, I don't really like too much. Because it kind of gives me like a muscle car vibe from the front. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. race really spawned me in this <laughs> oh my god so there's no decent convertible muscle cars but I guess I'll be the only one where I choose a uh, muscle car that's not a topless slash no roof what's the best the best Pegasi car in the game for looks and performance um say the the Zentorno, actually the Zoroso does get better lap times than the Zentorno, it just depends on the track. But the Zoroso is really expensive. I'd probably save a Zoroso. Alright, so we got North Loop, uh, this one is the uh, stunt version, so it's got some nice props. Um, definitely not 12 laps, I don't know why that guy has it on 12 laps, that's ridiculous. We'll do, we'll do one lap, it's a really long lap. We'll do uh, Muscle on this, something a little different. And I purposely picked muscle on this because this is a quarter intensive track and we can see what skill that people have. That should, that should be fun. All I can say is to make sure you use your brakes a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember invites, we got three spots open guys. What is your favorite car in the game at the moment? As an all-rounder, my favorite is a Turismo R, but really close second is the XA21. I love the XA21. I use that car a lot. Every time I want to just drive around in the game on the map in a car, it's almost always the XA21. I love the engine note, the way it looks, the active spoiler. 
just everything about that car. It's really nice. Do you watch Donut Media? Rarely. I don't really watch Donut Media that much. One's a Doug DeMiro collab. Oh my gosh. This is Digital Car Addicts Hellcat. And I crashed it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 29. Why don't you play Need for Speed? Because EA stopped supporting the game, so I stopped supporting making videos on it. When a company does something bad like that, I don't I don't agree with it. They just they literally just took it they literally took everybody's money that bought the game and ran with it. And they even promised updates. They only gave us like one car. Really, really sad. Okay, I'm gonna do Pizzwalter Dominator. I think the fastest one for this race will probably be the click. Um, what am I gonna pick? No, oh, I don't want to pick the Hellfire. I'm gonna go click. Let's go with the click. Uh, everybody's stats are broken. One zero, lost zero. <laughs> did you play Burnout Paradise? I did back in the day, but I didn't play it that much though. I'm in a tree! <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Understeer. Ooh, Saber Turbo. That's a good choice because it has the handle. Is that a Drift Yosemite? This guy, he's, he, he's brave and a drift deal somebody. Got a guy lagging back there. Pretty good so far up here. Bum bum, full speed through this turn. Look at that. This car is awesome. A lot of people underestimate the click. It's a, it's a really good car. It gets crazy bump boosts from uneven roads and stuff like that. Doesn't have the top speed though. Got me on that line. Oh. Got your muscle. What is that? Is that a drift tampa? What is that? Can't tell what that is. Top speed. No top speed here. Here comes the pistol that dominator. That crazy top speed, there it is. Saber Turbo Custom Knights. Nice. Speed, Pizzlewazer. Come on, click. This guy using the hydraulics? Oh my gosh. Come 
on, click. Come on, click. Spanish and yes I do Come on click go God. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I pushed it too much. Oh my gosh. Pushed it a little bit too much. Barrel roll. Literally right at the end. <laughs> oh man. Top five though. Take it. Oh jeez, pushing it to the limit. I trusted it a little bit too much on that corner. Yeah, you know, while I'm racing in a like crazy intense race like this with like back to back corners, I can't read the chat at the same time. You know, I can I, I can multitask, but not that well. <laughs> okay, Manzi winning every race with nearly stock cars. Now he has max performance upgrade. Hellfire hype. <laughs> Allen in the Hellfire 6. Close to top 5. But big credit for getting that boater on this track. Nice. Will you ever do this by an Xbox One? I currently don't do meets or racing events on Xbox One. Only on PS4 right now. But when uh, the Xbox X comes out, the new GTA console, I um, plus I plan to purchase both consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox X. So. What's the most you ever gotten from a donation? Well, there was this one time where this guy was giving me like fifty dollar donations. Like it was first, it was fifty, then it was a hundred, then fifty, then a hundred again, and then fifty. And I was breaking down, like, <laughs> I could I, I even cried at one point. Like, I couldn't, like, when you're, I mean, when somebody's doing that to you, I mean, it's just, that never happened to me before. But, in total, it was like $500 that guy donated. It was crazy. But that only happened once. <laughs> My wood GP. I think we'll do this one on super. We'll do this one on super. Do definitely well, very long laps. We'll do two laps. Super on that. We have, we did muscle sports. We'll do sport. Well, we're doing sports for long haul. Do coops. <laughs> they are sedans. Makes sense. One lap on coops. We can do cop packs. I love how it's coops, but everybody picks Zion Cabrios, but hey, it works. Zion Cabrio time. Oh, I have the regular Zion. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Big rip.
Boat gang, say something in Spanish, at least four words, please. Oh my god. Bruh. Ugh. Bruh. En esta carrera estoy manejando un bien de Dios. <laughs> Translation, I'm driving a BMW in this race. <laughs> Here we go. F620, Bruffy's favorite car. <laughs> hateful, hateful machine. Oh god. Don't you love how like the best car for the Coops class is still a 2013 car, like an original car that came out on the game? It blows my mind. Like Rockstar doesn't care about the Coops class at all. <laughs> they literally have a million dollar car you have to buy to be the best in like every class except for Coops. We could have a million dollar compact car, the club. Like who would have ever thought that would happen? Wow, this race is like through the hills. This would be nuts in supercars. Like, absolutely nuts in supercars. Here we go. This corner. My god, people in the chat, bruh. Oh, now on the lake. A Two dollar super chat from Jason. What do you say? I got all this. Yes, come. Just grass. Oh my god. Oh. No problem, Jason. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a wall. That's a nice wall. So. <laughs> Zion gang. This is a lot easier in coops. Like, and th this this race in the supercars would be really, really scary. Like, I'd probably only want to do it in like an Altar or a RE7 BSADR or something like that that has incredible handling because a Krieger in this race I don't think would be too good because of like all the intense corners at high speed. And the Emirates, there's a lot of uneven sections. I don't know. I'd feel most comfortable picking the Altar for this race for super. That's a tight corner. Oh, that's a Zion. Hi. No! Barbie in the Corvette. Pink BMW. Command Z, the tryhard. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you lose, I'll give you ten dollars. Oh my god. I would expect the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> oh my what state do I live in? Florida. Florida. Doing good, Alexander. Your pay. What do you think is the best all-round car in GTA? Like for everything? Hmm. Probably the Krieger, honestly. It has the top speed. It has the handling. Has the acceleration. Has the all-wheel drive for stability. Literally, pretty much does it all. My day was good. Pretty boring. It's been raining here all day, but. 
Zion, 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 Zion. <laughs> Alright, so next up, the last race of the stream, we got Long Haul with convertible slash no roof sports cars only. It's locked to that, so that should be fun. I heard there's a lot of supercars in Miami, is that true? Not really. <laughs> Unless you go to like downtown Miami, and the majority of them are rental cars, and they're not even owned by people. <laughs> We had a ten dollar super chat from Ashton Brian. Thank you, Ashton. Appreciate it. You lost, so here you go. <laughs> you can't go, this guy, man. Love your videos. Keep up the good. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Sports noon. We got. We got one spot open. So, we had the contest. Well, that lot uh, this week. Or last week for the past uh, was like seven days or so when we had the voting and the uh, theme was Los Santos Summer Special DLC so the only cars that were allowed for the contest on Discord were cars from the update that's what people voted for so people submitted their cars we had let's see how many submissions again go here uh, contest it says voting. Oh, we'll delete. We, have, we had about 50 submissions, roughly. Uh, so, third place was Ron Brentstrick's uh, Penumbra FF with 47 votes. Second place was Timberwolf's Yosemite Rancher with 48 votes. I, I had already extended the timer. I had... I had And first place was Chanel Plow's Yosemite Rancher with 49 votes, literally one vote off. So literally all of these were one vote off of each other. So pretty incredible. First place, as promised, you're gonna get a special roll color to reflect your win and a $10 gift card. Uh, so I'll DM you for that. Obviously restrictions apply. I only give disc, uh, gift cards if it's within the US because there's issues with gift cards with like you know, Australian dollars and all that stuff. We'll do coquette for this. So yeah, I'll DM you after the stream so you can claim your gift card. All right, here we go. I forgot to take the roof off my coquette. <laughs> I forgot. Oh man, I forgot to take the roof off my coquette. Oh well. And a banshee to have you with a fixed roof. So yeah, it's pretty balanced for this one. I removed the D10 because it was just way too fast. As far as top speed, that is. I think it's pretty balanced with the uh, variety of cars we got. We got 9F, we got Coquette, um, we got the Locust, the Rustin, the Carbon is there, and the. Uh, Let's be alone. Oh god. Hello. Bruh. I think that's all of them. Yeah, but we couldn't get the Serrano because for some reason Rockstar doesn't have it in the creator list. How is DCA always first? It always starts the playlist house at the beginning for some reason. I wish it would vary it, like put it in random spots, but it doesn't unfortunately. There they go. Holy crap. Go this side, your orange locust behind me. Do you still do the Bogdan glitch or the finale method? Yep. That's how I make my money in GTA. That's on vehicles like the Oppressor Mark II. I've talked about this before, but I had a lot of questions on that. 
I find it as like, a good vehicle to use to get around the map and stuff. It's like really convenient. But you know, obviously the annoying homing missiles, you people just spam everywhere. As a small target, you know, it's just an overpowered vehicle. People kind of abuse it. Um, and I talked about this before. Literally, all Rockstar has to do to make it more balanced um, is to just make it to where it's only free aim missiles. It can't hold, lock on to anything. That's all they have to do. That's it. And that will definitely nerf it a lot enough to where you actually have to, you know, aim properly to be able to kill somebody with it. Oh god. The high speed section here. Pretty much the entire pack there, look at that. Yeah, that's the beauty of like balanced cars. That's on the Neptune V6. I don't know what that is. I have to look it up. I've probably seen it before, but I probably forgot the name. <laughs> Just got into drifting. Love it. Yeah, I mean, there's some cars that drift pretty decently in GTA. Like the Rapid GT when you slam it. That's a fun one. The Fudo. Oh, God. Definitely got to repair my Coquette. Got some bent wheels. Maserati or Aston Martin? Well, Maserati right now, they're making kind of like cheap sedans. Uh, their quality has gone down tremendously. And so have their sticker prices to kind of reflect that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I prefer Aston Martin, honestly. Do you like Porsche 911? I think they're nice, yeah. When I, when I personally own one, probably not. I know there's Porsche fanatics out there. I respect them 100%. But I prefer more of like a, a unique looking different Porsche like the Carrera GT or the 918. Um, but like the 911, I don't know, I'm not too much of a fan of it. But the 3RS and Miami Blue, I have a weak spot for that. But would I own it? Probably not, but that's probably one of my favorite Porsches. You see 3RS and Miami Blue. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Would you import R34 in the future? Uh, to be legal to import, that car has to be, I believe it's 25 years old. Um, once that happens, like once it's legal, those cars are going to be over 100 grand easy, those R34s to buy. And that's just absolutely ridiculous. I would not pay that much money for that car. The new Maserati supercar. Yeah, I saw it. The MC20. Looks interesting. I still like the MC12 design a little more, personally. Whoa. Do you play different games besides GTA? Yep, just look at my channel banner. <laughs> Need for Speed, The Crew, uh, Forza sometimes. Uh, I play Rocket League when I'm bored. I'm really, really bored. <laughs> I'll play a couple matches and then turn it off. Um, what else? That's pretty much it, honestly. Turn, turn, turn. Yes. Should I buy an R8 Twin Turbo? You're gonna let me in even door. Oh my god. The, event, the issue with the Aventador is the transmission, that single clutch transmission is not that great. It's very violent, and the clutch has like 20k to replace, and they they wear pretty quickly, especially if you don't drive it properly. You have to drive it like a slick shift car. You cannot drive it like an automatic car, or you will break it. <laughs> um, I, I, I prefer an R8, honestly, but I love the look of the Aventador. I think that car is absolutely beautiful. Veyron or Chiron? I love the Chiron. I like it a lot more than the Veyron, just personally, like my personal preference. Uh, to me, like the Veyron, it hasn't really aged that well. Like I used to really like the Veyron, but 
I don't, I don't know. I don't really feel like it's aged that well, personally. How do I get into your PlayStation community? I, I deleted that community. Uh, it was replaced by the Discord server that we use now, which is a lot better. Big thanks to Emperor at E301 for that. But um, that, that's what we're using now, the Discord server, and it's, it's a lot better. The PS community was uh, not that great. <laughs> What is the best electric car and does it compare to the top cars in GTA? Um, I mean, around a track, probably the Cyclone. The Morgan has the best handling out of all the electric cars, though, I think. So, just, just depends on the race. Do you like the Corvette ZR1? Which generation? You gotta, you gotta specify. I love the C6 DR1. I think that car is amazing. My dad had one back in 2010. He bought it, had it for like a month, and then sold it. Because they were depreciating, like, absolutely ridiculous. Literally, from one day to the next, they were it was about 115000 value worth. And then, literally... A couple weeks after that, they were worth about eighty-five, ninety. So they lost almost forty thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars. And my dad got rid of it just in time. I thought he would have lost a lot of money. <laughs> Whoa! Do you like sixty-two Corvette C1? I prefer the C2. Like as far as classic Corvettes go. I love the Corvette C2, especially the 427, 403 horsepower, I believe it was, back in 1967. That was like unheard of back then. No car had over 400 horsepower back then. That was like absolutely nuts. Um, and GM did it. That crazy big block 427 engine. And fun fact, they, they never uh, surpassed that production horsepower number until the C6 Z06 in 2006. So, almost, what, 30 years later? Or, no, 40 years later. So it took them 40 years to break that horsepower number again. Pretty insane. Thoughts on the crew update? Yeah, they have that kind of like heist-esque update that's gonna come out. I, I don't know. It all depends how they implement it. Like it can it could be really good or it could be awful, <laughs> and I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be that great personally. I hope it is. You know we can hope, but they haven't really explained much. They showed the trailer, which looked kind of like a movie, <laughs> and like how are the mechanics gonna work? Like do you, do you walk with your character like you kind of do in the garage? Like how is it how is it gonna work? Or is it is it you just drive you drive up to the building and then it's just a cut scene and then you get in the car like? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on how they do it. My favorite BMW ever? Hmm. I'd have to think about that one. I, out of all the BMWs, damn. I man, that's a that's a tough one. I mean, I love as far as modern BMWs, I love the M2. One of my favorites. It's in that really nice blue. Absolutely love the M2. Um, I'd probably lean towards the M3 with my favorite BMW. The I'm not too good with with BMWs. Um, it's the same one from Most Wanted. That body style. I can't remember the, the model number. Whatever they call it, 328 or I don't, I don't even E30. Yeah, there we go. The E30. Um, yep. E46. Wait, which one is the one from Most Wanted? E46. Thank you, Pombo. Thoughts on the second gen one series? Uh, second gen one series what? BMW? Pretty interesting car. I think Rockstar will add the new Bugatti. We have a lot of Bugattis in this game. We have the Thrax, we have the Adder, we have the Nero, and the Nero Custom. We have four modern Bugattis and one classic Bugatti, the Z-Type. 
I don't I don't see them giving us any more. Like at this point they pretty much all look the same. I'm surprised we even got the Thrax to be honest. from NFX is the NFS is the E46. I don't like the GTR, I like the regular. The regular E46 is the one I like. For a million subscribers, buy a C8. Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> I, I, I am planning on getting a C8 Z06. I'm going to sell my Camaro Z01. And uh, I'm planning on getting that when it comes out in about a year and a half. Sorry, Voodoo. I was, I was reading the chat. Sorry. What's your favorite Ford? My favorite Ford? Well, other than classics, the 2005 Ford GT is my favorite Ford. McLaren or Lambo? I mean, I, I really like the newer McLarens. I think they're doing very well, even though they still have their issues and they depreciate a lot. Like, really bad. I don't know why the McLarens depreciate so much. It's actually pretty crazy. Like, you can buy a $400,000 McLaren 720S with like, I don't know, a 2016 with like 2,000 miles for like 200,000, like literally half. That's, that's like mind-blowing. They literally lost half their value. You like the LaFerrari? I love the LaFerrari. One of my favorites. That's on the Pontiac Solstice. <laughs> it's a funny car. So it's the, the Saturn and the Solstice, they were kind of like all the same car, pretty much. I, I prefer the look of the Saturn Sky a little more. The Saturn Sky, like it's got like a little bit more like a sharp design. Um, the Solstice is really nice, too. Oh, God. Look at my wheels on my Go-Cat. No. All right, now we're going to do the loop. The famous loop. P1 or Senna? Oof. I'd probably go P1, honestly. Thoughts on the Honda Civic. Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the Type R? Like, which, which one? Oh god, we're going so fast. Maxed out speedometer. We do a car meet. We have that car meet at the beginning of the stream, and then we always do the racing playlist afterwards. Oh god, I really gotta fix this car. What do you think of the new crew update coming? I talked about this before. Um, I hope it's good. The trailer looks pretty decent. But as far as like, how they're actually gonna do it, I have no idea. We'll see how they do it. They should give us a 96 Honda Prelude, oh my god. Chevy Camaro Yenko, awesome car. Pre-order the C8, I did. I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the deposit list for it. But we can't order it until they actually unveil it. So I'm, I'm like on like the pre-pre-list. <laughs> But they, they go and order that list first, then the actual list and like that, so. What's your favorite Toyota? The Supra. Easy, easy one. Is the Coca D10 good for time trials? Not really. They should give us a 720S with 65 LT. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or a speed tail. When do you think GTA 6 is coming? Personally, I think two years after the next-gen consoles come out, so I'd say uh, 2022 slash 2023. What are your thoughts on Call of Duty? I don't really play Call of Duty. Do you support? I don't know what all those letters are. <laughs> you like trucks? I like trucks. Who doesn't like trucks? You like jazz? <laughs> That's like the first thing that pops into my mind when you put that. <laughs> oh god. We are Holly. Oh my god! 
I gotta fix this thing. ASAP. Bruh! Bruh! My poor Corvette! It's all screwed. Screwed up. <laughs> this thing bent wheels galore. Extra camber, front and rear. Lots of the McLaren, some of the C5 LT. Good car. I, I was really waiting for the, you know, the track version of a 720S. I think they did a really good job. They should have made the this Corvette C8 exhaust similar to the 765 LT, kind of quad coming out of the middle there. Oh, that's an amazing design. What is your daily drive in real life? I mean, the Camaro and the Hellcat, I don't really like daily drive them per se. Like, I have them in the garages, covers on them. <laughs> like, I don't really daily drive them per se. I merely try to use my mother's Escalade every time I get a chance. But, um, when, when that car's not there, then I'll pull out the Camaro or the Hellcat. Oh, I went under that 9F. Oh my god. Dang it. Number one car you would buy with no budget. A Le Mans competing GT40. Yes. Not a kid car, an actual one that competed in Le Mans. You ever do a video in real life? I did. Every time we, every time we hit hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand subscriber milestone, <laughs> I do a, uh, do a video. What do you do for work? Uh, currently, just YouTube. That's what I'm doing right now. I can't turn. I gotta fix this car. <laughs> I want to try to get the first, like, well, at least the front of the pack before I respawn, though. If you were rich, would you buy a 250 GTO? I already said it when I would buy with no budget. Oh, well, my coca is glitched out. It's going like warp speed right now. Oh my god. My coca has the speed glitch. Oh my god. I can't control it. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh god. Broken coca coming through. Oh, we're going so fast. Oh my gosh. Breaking this car was the best thing we ever did. Look at this, look at this! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I can't turn though. It's a rock. The bump boost. There we go. Oh god, oh god, turn, turn, turn. This is so sketchy. <laughs> this is really sketchy. Why'd you use the old cool cat? Because we have it restricted to lower end sports car. And I wanted to pick uh Coquette. Can't even turn thing. Oh my god. We're going so fast. We're going he can't even catch up with a slipstream. Oh god, the tubes! Oh my god! Oh my god! It does not like the tubes. It does not like the tubes. Oh god. Oh god! What was that? Okay, now, now I actually have to respawn. Are you Mexican? I'm not Mexican. I'm of Cuban descent. 
And it's not the same thing. There's like people who are like, everybody who speaks Spanish is a Mexican. Okay, so is every Asian Chinese? No. There's your answer. <laughs> you have a Charger Hellcat? Or a, I have a Challenger Hellcat, not a Charger Hellcat. What map is this? So this is a race uh, created by Edub, kind of part of his long haul series. This is the seventh race he's made, well 7.2. The seventh one has been modified a little bit. Best German brand. Mercedes? Well, Porsche. Come on, Porsche. Fastest have you gone in real life? The speed limit. My friend went 200 in R8. Nice. Hopefully it was in Mexico, right? <laughs> What's the map's name? Edub's longest haul. It's V7.2M. You watched the Grand Tour. I did, before they stopped making episodes. <laughs> really good show. I loved it. You have a favorite American car. 2005 Ford GT. What car are you gonna burn out in for 400,000 square miles? I have no idea, honestly. I, I ran out of cars to use. Um, with this pandemic, it's kind of hard to like borrow, borrow people's cars and stuff because I ran out of you know the cars in my family to use. I, I use my Hellcat, I use my Z01, I use my father's Corvette Z06. I literally, <laughs> I have nothing else to use. I don't want to, you know, do my mother's Escalade. Like, that's just dumb. My mother has a, uh, a Plymouth Prowler, but that thing doesn't have much power. Unless the tires are, like, really old. I don't know. Rent a car. I, I don't think the rental car company would appreciate me renting a Lambo or something, doing a burnout, then they find that on YouTube, and they can, like, sue me for it. I don't, I don't think that's, uh... Not, not a good idea. Wait, I thought we'd turn here. Bruh. Oh, he landed right in front of me. I'll try to figure out something then. Maybe I'll just do the Hellcat again, because like, the first time I did it in the Hellcat, it wasn't much of a burnout. It was like, a rolling, very small burnout. I can do like a, a nice, bigger burnout on the Hellcat. I don't know. Favorite automotive YouTubers? Doug DeMiro, Street Speed 717. Um, I like the main ones I watch. 1320 video. Um, like the main ones. Tavarish, Blue Squad. I don't know who Black Sheep TV is. That's on Chrysler. They haven't made anything interesting lately, as far as like the Chrysler brand itself. Favorite musical car? I think you meant muscle car. <laughs> Favorite muscle car? Um, it'd probably be a classic, honestly. I like a Cuda. I like the Cuda a lot. AAR Cuda. But the chart, the 69 Chargers are really close. I like that car a lot. It's definitely a Mopar, I can tell you that. What do you like besides cars? I mean, I'm into hobbies, like, um, lately I've been getting into, like, hobby RC boats a lot. 100 mile per hour RC boats. I've been getting into that lately. I find it really fun. And my jet ski that I got. Yeah. I post uh, videos and pictures and stuff on my Instagram. Uh, like stuff I do in my personal life. If you guys are interested in that, it's uh, my Instagram digital underscore car underscore addict.
way, right? is coming. Got the whole cavalry coming. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. That's me on the left. Okay. I did. I went far on the right. Wow, the pack was that far ahead. Damn. Last loop. Oh, he messed up. How did he mess up? What the heck? Top five though. <laughs> Top five is always possible. <laughs> oh god. Alrighty guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Again, all the info how to join the next one is down below in the description. I literally made a two-minute video explaining how to join. I try to make it as easy and straightforward as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the convertible slash no roof meet. Finally, that theme won. I've been wanting to do that one for a while, and it was a ton of fun. So we had the car meet at the beginning, and then the races afterwards. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next Saturday.